Today I'm making a vegan beef burgundy that's rich, decadent, and deeply flavored, and it takes less time to make than a traditional beef burgundy, so that's a no beef bonus. Speaking of vegan beef, we're gonna be using our good friend Soy Curls here, but you can use store-bought vegan beef or even double up on the mushrooms. You can even just use some jackfruit if you like. In fact, I tested that out as well. But for me, soy curls really do a great job in this dish, so let's go ahead and soak them in some water to rehydrate them, and while they do that, let's prep our veggies. First, I'm gonna get two to three large carrots, and I don't bother peeling them either. I like to slice mine into medallions, so I think the girthier, the better. Just try to slice them thicker as the carrots taper off. They don't gotta be perfect, of course. Worst case scenario, some carrot pieces are a little softer than others, no big deal. Next is one pound of mushrooms. I like to get some about this size and then I'll just cut them in half. You can quarter them too if you like smaller mushroom chunks and that is the prep for the mushrooms. We're also gonna do two kinds of onions. First, I'm gonna dice a regular onion like so and then we're also gonna get some pearl onions. If you can't find these, don't sweat it, but I do like the added oniony sweetness that they provide. The fastest way I found to peel these little suckers is just to microwave them for about one minute. After that, let them cool enough to handle and they should peel relatively easily. For the garlic, we just need to mince up about four to five cloves, and that is it for our veggie prep. At this time, the soy curls should be nice and rehydrated, so the next step is to drain them and then squeeze out all of the liquid. And folks always ask if they can rehydrate them in some broth or something, but for me, they have a funky aftertaste when I've tried that. Hydrating with water and squeezing them out seems to get rid of it. Once they are as dry as you can get them, let's add them to a skillet over medium heat to dry them out a bit more. Just cook them for about six to eight minutes, stirring every now and again. And while they toast, we can put together our marinade. I'm gonna start with two cups of vegan beef broth. I like this stuff, but use veggie broth if you can't find it or something like it. Next is one tablespoon of vegan what's this here sauce, two tablespoons of a browning sauce like this stuff or gravy master, and then two tablespoons of mushroom seasoning. I'll leave links for all the ingredients in the description and blog post too. Once that's mixed up, we can add it to our soy curls, stir them around and get them all nice and coated. And now we basically just need to reduce this down so the soy curls soak up all of that flavorful liquid. The process is similar for the jackfruit, though I would say maybe use half the broth if your jackfruit is brined as mine was, otherwise it might be a bit too salty. But once our soy curls have soaked up the liquid, they should look something like that, and we can go ahead and set those aside. Next, let's get a Dutch oven or something similar that can go in an oven. We're gonna add our mushrooms to a dry pan over medium heat. Maybe do them in batches so you don't steam them. Cook those down for about 10 minutes or until they've shrunk down a bit and have some nice color on them. Set those aside and then add a little olive oil and toss in the pearl onions if you're using them. Cook those down for about six minutes or until they've softened and have a bit of color. Remove those and let them chill with the mushrooms. Next, we'll throw in four tablespoons of vegan butter. Let those melt and then we're gonna add in our diced onion and carrots. Stir those around and cook them for about 10 minutes or until the carrots have softened slightly and the onions are translucent. After that, form a little mosh pit by scooting everyone to the side and add in the minced garlic. Cook that for about one minute and then get everyone to mosh together and we're gonna add in two tablespoons of tomato paste and stir that around. To adhere to vegan law, we're gonna toss in two tablespoons of nutritional yeast as well as two tablespoons of mushroom seasoning. And then a quarter cup of flour, stir that around to coat and cook down the raw flour a bit. Now we'll get three cups of our vegan beef broth as well as two cups of a red wine. If you can get burgundy wine, go for it. Otherwise, a Pinot Noir will work just dandy. And if you don't do alcohol, unfortunately there isn't really a good substitute. It really does add a lot of the signature flavor. However, you can simply replace it with more vegan beef or veggie broth. It won't taste the same, but it's still gonna be very delicious. Next, we'll toss in our reserved soy curls as well as our reserved mushrooms and pearl onions. Stir those around and then we're gonna add in a few sprigs of fresh thyme as well as a couple of bay leaves. Taste for seasoning, I added in some black pepper as well as just a touch of salt. Then we'll cover it and add it to a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 45 minutes. After that, we're gonna pull it out and it's already looking pretty good, but to thicken the sauce a little, I'm gonna add a cornstarch slurry I made with one tablespoon of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. Throw the lid back on and add it to the oven for another 15 minutes. After that, it is done. Make sure you fish out the thyme and bay leaves first, but now you are the proud owner of the most delicious vegan beef burgundy you have ever seen or feasted on. It's great on its own, but I highly suggest eating it with some mashed potatoes. It's just a match made in heaven. It's just so dang rich and deeply flavored. So if you need something warm and comforting for the holidays or any day, I highly suggest you give this one a go. Or you can make my shepherd's pie from last year. Either way, I'll see you all next time.